All right, folks, our purpose here today is relatively straightforward. It's to go over the mechanisms of acid-catalyzed dehydrations. I'm sorry, acid-catalyzed ester cleavages, and then look at the decarboxylation mechanism one more time. When we last left, this was the molecule that we had, and I am not going to march this through both esters cleaving. I am just going to reduce all of this for the purposes of this mechanism. All of this is R because I'm lazy. Does that mean you can do this too if you ever have to write out this mechanism? Sure, why the hell not? So what we're going to do here is this in the presence of some acid and some water and our product is going to be the carboxylic acid plus an alcohol. Now, this is, it's an involved mechanism, but none of it's particularly difficult. So, we start with this. Whoops. Let's just start all that ugliness over again. Acid, the carbonyl carbon, de, excuse me, the carbonyl oxygen deprotonates the hydronium, which puts us here in a prime location for a nucleophile, specifically water, to attack, which gives us this. OH there, OHH -H here. Remember, this acid catalyzed process is one series of deprotonations and nucleophilic attacks after another. So now we are here. Pi bonds are formed. The alcohol is knocked off. We are put here. And this proton can be pulled off. I use another water molecule. I noticed a lot of you were using the alcohol on the exam, which is perfectly acceptable. And now we are here. Plus the alcohol plus hydronium, which we had in at the beginning and at the end, so it is indeed acid catalyzed. So now what we've done is we've turned this into this. The carboxylic acid All right, now is when we heat this and lose carbon dioxide to make this as our product. Sorry, I'm writing so small over there. I'm running out of room. So let's look at the decarboxylation mechanism one more time. because it never hurts to see it. Deprotonation of one of the acid groups, doesn't matter which one, formation of a new carbon-oxygen pi bond, and cleavage of the carbon-carbon sigma bond, which puts us here. At this enolate, 
rather this enol, which will then promptly tautomerize to this. All right, like I said, short video for this one. Just going over a couple of those mechanisms again. So one more tonight, and then we're done with this unit. So stay safe, stay happy, stay hydrated.